Yo boys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Um, we're back with some more Premier League predictions this coming weekend, I believe, in match day 13 now. Um, last week, match day 12, we got 12, we got started 7 points. Um, a little bit better now, uh, in terms of the results. A couple of weeks we were not performing too great, but 7 is a respectable number. Um... So anyway, we're we're gonna get into some predictions now. The first game of the, the match the match week is Arsenal versus Newcastle. Um, Newcastle will have the Eddie Howe new manager bounce his first game actually in charge of the game because he tested positive for COVID and wasn't able to manage against Brentford last week. I think this will be a high scoring game. People seem to think Howe will solve Newcastle's defensive issues for some reason, but they have defensive issues, and Eddie Howe is not a defensive coach, so I'm going to go 3-2 Arsenal. It'll be a good game. Liverpool-Southampton, I reckon this will be a uh, a pretty easy 3-1 win for Liverpool, maybe a Broga goal or an Armstrong goal for Southampton, but in general, they'll probably just get played off the park by Liverpool. Norwich versus Wolves, um, I think this will be a 2-1 Wolves win at Carrow Road, but Norwich do look a little bit better now. They don't look completely hopeless, so good for them. Um, Palace v Villa. We're going to go with a one all draw here. Palace love to draw games, and I think they'll draw again here. It'll be a clash of these two teams who are in a bit of a have a bit of a bounce about them. I mean, Villa were winless in five before their win over Brighton. Steven Gerrard comes in, works miracles, 2 0 win. Here, Palace v Villa, I think it'll be 1-1. One, one. Brighton v Leeds, should be a close run game. Um, Leeds have struggled in terms of the goal scoring, which was their main aspect of why they were so good last year. But Brighton this year, uh, they looked good, but of the course of the past six games, they've looked abysmal. So, I wouldn't be surprised if they lose again. 1-0. Um, Brighton v Everton, Brentford v Everton, not Brighton v Everton. Um, Brentford are in a slump. This is on the form table, 20th versus 19th. Everton will edge this one for me, just about 2-1 over Brentford. But Brentford will be annoyed that they can't get a result out of this one if they don't. City v West Ham, I think West Ham are so good, but City is too much for them. Really, really too much for them. Um, West Ham off the back of a 1-0 loss loss against Wolves last week, but then they went to Austria and won 2 nil. This time, traveling to Manchester, it'll be a little bit too much for the Hammers to handle. Leicester v. Watford. Should be a close run game. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if Leicester pulls something out. They need something from this. I'm going to go with a 2 all draw. Burnley v. Tottenham. This one, this one is going to be a close run game as well. I'm going to go with a one all draw. Probably Maxwell Cornet will score again and Tottenham will get a draw. I just want to laugh at Tottenham because they somehow lost on Thursday against Team 5th in Slovenia. How? Anyway, um, move on. Chelsea versus United is the last game of the week. This should be a 2-1 Chelsea win. It's going to be the start of a new United regime soon. However... Not yet, because Ragnick will be taking charge against Arsenal. So they haven't, they aren't under new management yet, but they are starting a new era very soon. Anyways, um, also, I have 74 week points for the season now, which is pretty good. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this Premier League predictions video. Um, it, sh it should be a good, it should be a good match week. I'm hoping for some good games, and I'm hoping for some good results for my predictions. Without further ado, see you guys later, and peace.